the delivery folks loaded the refrigerator really quickly. They unpacked it in the road before I could see anything. They opened it up and they changed the water filter system. The little handle just drops down, a little couple half turns to the right, and it snapped back up. Then they were off down the driveway, wheeling the refrigerator into my house. I had to take the door off to be able to get it in this back door. This should fit through this door right here. Fortunately, I just had to tap the pins out of the hinges and the door came off. First step in installing is connect the water hose to the existing outlet on the wall and then to the bottom of the refrigerator. That's one of two steps. The other step, of course, is just to plug the refrigerator in. There's no wiring or anything necessary. I'll put the hose through this, hold it up there, and come on down to the bottom. Up, oh, it's angled up, so that's nice. Well, this just keeps it from dragging because it's so long. Okay, got it plugged in. That's easy enough. Simple install. I got it set up. You can see how much the doors open. They don't go 90 degrees, they go about 45. So I have to keep from hitting something over here. On this side, it's close to the washer and dryer. So what I've done before, what I'm going to do now, is I pull it off the wall, like on the bottom back there, and I'll lay down either a piece of 2x6 or 2x8, whatever I need in this dimension here to keep it from pushing back against the wall before I lock the, the uh, levelers down. It's a little rubber mat to keep the noise down when the ice hits the tray. When you're removing the shelves, you pick them up in the back and bring them forward. But you have to have this door all the way open. You have to watch out it doesn't hit here. So usually you pick it up a little bit and turn it, and then you can slide it out easily so it doesn't hit that door. Put it back in, put it on that shelf, and slide it back. Okay? The only shelf that's adjustable is here. You can put it here or here. So on a side-by-side -side like this, you have a lot of room here and then a gap. You have this shelf, you see the stuff has gaps in it. So you have fixed shelf shelf heights you have to get used to. Same in the freezer. In the freezer, I don't think there are any shelves that are adjustable. You have one, two, three, four shelves in the door. They're not adjustable. And when you pull the shelves out, you just lift up and they come out of their little slots. Push them back in and they drop in. There's not a lot of thin parts, a nice solid piece. I like that. There's no butter holder up here, so you have to keep the butter somewhere. There's not a little covering for the butter. Here's the craft ice maker. You can see we had it set on fast balls, which are opaque, and then you get clear ice balls. When you set it on clear, it take a little longer. Then you have an indoor system where you can program. 
on the indoor system. Touch this. It's on ice cube, a uh, crushed ice, water cubes. And they're about that size. Go back to the crushed ice. On this model, the side doors open together and you have to reach underneath here and pull. Reach underneath here and pull. On the bottom trays to open them, you reach to the bottom and pull. So you have to go all the way down to pull here. You have a nice light inside the top of each side, which manages to make it down. You can see the ice container in the door has a little hook drive to make it go down the hall. And more storage here. Another shelf you pull on the bottom to open up. And one, two, three, four fixed shelves. And it's just six on this shelf. Okay, here's how you get the ice maker out of the freezer. Grab it and lift the bottom out, lift the top out. Lots of ice. Okay, let's look how to set up the refrigerator settings. If you hold this button here, changes the refrigerator temperatures, allows you to scroll through a few. Scrolls back down. And this light will come on also if it's time to change the filter. I shall do the filters up there. This is the freezer temperature. Allows you to scroll through some. This is if you want craft ice on those round balls. You can turn it off. You can have the opaque ones or you can have the clear ones. Smart grid is if you have it on this on Wi-Fi and it's enabled through your city, they can come in here and cut back on the power usage and so forth of your refrigerator. We don't have that. This is ice on, ice plus. It, it produces more ice quicker. This is a lock. If you hold that for three seconds, it keeps anybody from accidentally changing these and it also disables your front ice and water dispenser. Turn that off. Three seconds. And if you hold this, oh, that didn't turn off. Let's see. Okay. And if you hold this right here for three seconds, that's when you're going to turn on the Wi Fi, which I'll show you in another part uh, to connect it to the internet so that you can use your app. That's all the programming for the refrigerator freezer. Okay, we're going to level the refrigerator. You can see this one looks a little high compared to this, and this one looks a little low. And then you can see the doors are not perfectly uh, level. So can Isaac Newton. And you have to open the door and get to it this way. Long side. And turn it to the left and raise it. I can feel it gripping on the ground. Let's see how that did. You can see you can see they're level now. When you have the door open, I have it measured so it won't hit the counter. And you just push it shut a little bit and it'll go all the way. It's got a pretty firm shut to it. Same on the other side. It's not gonna hit the counter over here. And just shut it a little bit. So you got auto shut. There you go. Pretty heavy shut off. And lastly, to space this out, what I always do is I put, if you can see it in here, see I have a measured, that's a two by eight piece of wood, about two or three feet long. I put it back there and I just slide the refrigerator up against it so 
it's never going to push back in too far. And this is a non-fingerprint stainless steel. I don't know if it's brushed more, that's why, but you don't see fingerprints showing up. Let's peek through the manual. I have the LHSX 2706 model. LHSX 2706. And it's got a dispenser control. Pick from water, crushed ice, and ice. And you push on the back here with your glass and it'll come out. So it's a filtered water and ice dispenser. Filters on the inside. Uh, it doesn't have door and door or door and level or insta view. You can get upgrades for those where you can actually see inside, I suppose. And this is the model I have. It's got LED lamps on the top, temperature sensor inside right here, number two. It's got automatic ice maker and craft ice maker. And a bunch of door bins and shelves. So you need two inches in the back, and it's my model is here. It's 30, almost 34 inches deep, 33 and 7 16 30, almost 36 inches wide, 35 and 7 eighths, and to the top, including the hinges, is 70 and a half inches. So it's a pretty big um, refrigerator freezer. And if you want the doors open 90 degrees, you need 51 inches. So you can see. You have to be careful not to hit your counters on the back of those and dent them. 